This weather is nuts. Nuts. But I'm so grateful for it. This is like, I feel like rain always cleans things. And this is the first time I feel like we've had a good rain in California in a really, really, really long time. It's so loud, you can hear it on our skylights. And it sounds like the rain's coming through. Like Joe was even asking if there's any hail because that's how strong the sound is it's beyond just a little pitter patter. I'm going to floor and decor and the reason why I'm going to floor and decor is I'm putting a backsplash on our kitchen and I have no idea it could be a completely big massive huge disaster or or she says it could be a masterpiece either a disaster or a masterpiece they both have aster in them question is which aster will survive, disaster or master? Peace. I love this weather. It is awesome. It is my jam. Oh yeah. In the midst of all this chaos, I found this really great um, waterproof beanie. I can't wait. I mean, this is like the best weather to wear a waterproof beanie. Not only that, but it's got like this fleece lining inside. I feel like it's fleece. So it'll keep your head warm. It'll also keep your head water protected, which I do enjoy. This hair with, with wetness is just, there's no controlling it. It's just straight out of control. Turn your blinker on. Cheers, thank you. I hate when people are turning and they turn their blinker on at the very last second. Is that a pet peeve for anyone else or is that just me? I don't know. As you can tell, I've had coffee today and it feels delicious. Man, I feel bad for the people that have blow ups. Your blow ups getting wet. And they're about to have to shove them in a bag and then mildew will grow all over them. Nobody cares about this story, Tara. Okay, thanks. Can I tell y'all a secret? This is kind of a big deal. There's two big deals, right? Well, the first big deal is kind of a weird feeling for me. Since the day we sold our house, the one, the very first house that we ever bought, since that day of selling it, I have been too emotional to go and just drive by. I've been way too emotional to go and just, I don't know way too emotional and what does that mean that means that I still have an attachment to that house that means I still miss that house I still miss that that specific area I liked our neighbors I like our neighbors now don't get me wrong I love our neighbors our neighbors now are probably better than our neighbors were I have an attachment that I haven't let go of and I don't know if you've ever lived in a house and when you moved you felt like that wasn't home like your old house was home right that's how I feel. I feel like we've now lived in this new house for over a year and a half, and yet I feel like it's not home. And I can't even tell you why. I can't tell you the specifics. Is it because it needs to be renovated just like the last one did? And you can't let anyone in your house because of COVID? And maybe, I mean, maybe that's it. I don't know. That brings me to my second secret. My second secret is sometime, I don't know when, but sometime in 2021, we're gonna move. Say what? I have no idea when, we're not expecting like a specific date. We will be putting our house on the market and whatever happens, happens. I feel like this move is something that my gut has been telling us to do because of this unsettled feeling I've had in this house. Like I feel like it's not home and I never wanna be in a house that I feel like isn't home. And you're like, well, where are you gonna move? And that's the fun part. The fun part is I have no idea, <laughs> truly, no clue. But in that same breath, I know we'll find a place. 
I just want to find the place. It's not for a while. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna break it down. We sell the house. Second part of the game plan. We put our crap in pods. All of our stuff is going in pods. And I really feel like, yeah, we gotta be simplifying our life. Next game plan. We're gonna stay from what I'm gathering in about an Airbnb or an extended stay or something like that until we really say this is our house. Like when we put our house on the market, we're truly going to be looking for a house. But I don't want to say yes, this is the house until I've truly weighed all of my options. So even if we sell this house, my biggest thing is I don't want to buy a place that I don't feel 100% about. I'm currently passing our old street and I still have like a phobia. I just don't want to go to it because I don't want to be emotional and I just don't. You know, no time for emotions. Oh crap, it's making me stop at the light that you turn into my neighborhood, why? Look, eventually I'm gonna bite the bullet and go to our old house and just say goodbye to it. It's making me emotional thinking about it, but I'm just not ready. And you know what's crazy is like, I don't know why I'm not ready. I don't regret moving. I do regret moving to the house that we're currently living in. I feel like our last place was half the size, which it was. I wanna be able to feel like home. And right now it doesn't. That's my only issue with us having to move was the fact that I don't feel like I'm at home. And I thought, you know, maybe if I redo the kitchen and do little things here and there, then it's gonna make everything better and I'll feel like home, but I don't and I still don't and I want to feel that way. Maybe so minimal, but it's a huge thing for me because I feel like when you're in, people are honking at me and yet it is raining cats and dogs, people, and we're in a residential neighborhood. You know what I mean? Shish. What is all of this construction? Just construction everywhere there's like potholes and tires just randomness those are my two secrets I also feel like when you're not in the right environment you're not inspired and I feel like one of my passions is YouTube and one of my passions that I have struggled with in this new home it's not just having three children one of one of the things that we've struggled with is I've just struggled with just feeling inspired change your environment change your focus and everything's gonna figure itself out i'm on my way to floor and decor because one of the things that i wanted to do in the kitchen before i say this kitchen is no longer mine i do want to give it a slight upgrade i have painted the walls i've painted the cabinets and now i want to put a backsplash on the cabinets and call me insane, but I feel like I've watched so many tutorials that I can do it. Like I've watched so many tutorials. So I should be able to figure it out. Famous last words. If it looks like a total disaster, I'll just take it down and call it a loss. But I don't think it will. I think it's gonna be a masterpiece. I've been doing some things that I never thought I could other people feel like they have been doing things that they never thought they could because of COVID. I know that that sounds really crazy. When COVID hit, I created two new jobs online. I was able to homeschool two children. I was able to maintain everything that I normally do without any sitters. And I know that that sounds so minimal for most of you, but it, it's been like, I've been showing myself like, girl, you can do this. What is Am I seeing snow? Arr! Dude, I am straight up seeing some snow. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Dude, there is snow on the ground. WTF. Y'all, look. What does that look like? Gosh dang it. Get out of focus. It's focusing on the water particles. It's all over the place over here. That is snow. Oh, I've got to roll down my window. Oh, this guy hates me. That's snow. Sorry, I get distracted really easily. You know, I hear that rain. 
One moment I'm talking about rain, next moment I'm talking about snow and hats and all kinds of stuff. Another place that I feel like is pretty genius is Babylene. No, I'm not sponsored by them as well, but they're genius. You just drive in. Kids can be in the back. You don't even have to get out of the car. Brilliant. All oil changing stations should be like that. I feel like they would have better business, baby. All right, floor and decor, you don't even know what hits you. I'm on my way. I'm going to get it and get that splash. Get that backsplash, baby. It's too much. Ooh, I had my blinker on. We are here. You know what's also great? Handicap placard. Just talking about all the good things today. There you are. We are open. Well, I hope so. 